Just who is Frisco Liberty standout Jenna Winnis? To find out, well, we asked the people who know her best. Competitive, never really seen her, but I've heard of her. Caring. And when I came, I was like, wow. Just a killer, too. I would say I'm pretty relaxed, but not like too relaxed. Like, I like to have fun, I like to kick the ball, um, do whatever I need to do to get the ball up, put the ball down. So I would say I follow the rules of volleyball, but then also just like have fun with it. The Minnesota commit has notched more than 2,000 kills and over 100 wins in her Red Hawks career. And just this week, Winnis picked up All-American honors, a meteoric rise for a player who says she didn't fully understand all of volleyball's limitless opportunities until last year. I would say my junior year in the spring is when I was like, okay, I can take this as far as I want to take it. Um, as long as I keep working hard and I guess just doing what I need to do to get to where I want to be. Volleyball just in general, I feel like has like taken me places like I didn't even think I could, I could go, so. Like where? Um, Mexico. <laughs> you played in Mexico? I did, that? yes. And that was awesome for the U.S. junior team. Um, that was something I never, I never even imagined of doing. Since returning to Frisco, Winnis has helped lead Liberty on a 20 match win streak and an undefeated district season. She's also brought back an impeccable sense of humor. After we profiled the Red Hawks in a previous broadcast, Winnis made a gift of one of Coach Womble's patented facial expressions. I was like, oh, Coach Womble, <laughs> the eye roll, <laughs> the classic eye roll. When you saw the meme on Twitter, <laughs> what was the I wasn't surprised, not surprised. This, this, uh, this has been a fun group and they have a great uh, sense of humor. That ability to be ferocious on the court and fun in the locker room has helped to create a bond that you rarely see. Something we found out firsthand when the entire Red Hawk volleyball team stayed after practice just to watch us shoot our interviews. All the individual accomplishments we can bring up from mm -hmm. more than 2,000 kills, 100 plus wins, you wouldn't do any of that. Mm -mm. If it weren't nope. for them, no. <laughs> for sure. What's what's it like to share in these successes, but to have your friends with you like you? Um, <laughs> I mean, I just think like like you might go at a different school, you might go to a different school and do the same thing, but they wouldn't stay here and watch me. Um, but because like I know they care about me and they know I care about them, um, they're here, they're watching me, they're supporting me. Um, and so I think that's that's the difference from a lot of places where you'll go and see good players and they don't care about the rest of their team. Even while I'm in Minnesota, I think I'll look back and it'll be a time I miss for sure, regardless of how Minnesota goes when I get there. Um, I think Minnesota could be the greatest thing ever and I'll still miss coming here every morning um, just because it's for the past four years, like that's what I've done. I know that eye roll. I get that a lot around here. Hey, coming up next, a look at the best storylines of the 2019 high school football season. Hi, my name's Jenna Winnis. I'm outside at Frisco Liberty High School. I'm Kyla Crawford. I'm a little blocker at Frisco Liberty High School. Hi, I'm Coach Womble from Frisco Liberty High School. We're the Red Hawks of Frisco Liberty High School. And you're watching, and you're watching High School Spotlight.